Up Australia one Snuggie at a time. Call Global Shop Direct or go online now. Good evening, you're watching live at five from Kabul on the day the British military deaths in the battle against the Taliban reached 201. One soldier dies in hospital in Birmingham from injuries sustained on Thursday. A second killed on foot patrol in Hellman. You know, obviously when there's a death, um, it's not a good thing. But unfortunately, um, they have to carry on with their job. We fight on. British troops refuse to be deterred in the face of mounting casualties. And Gordon Brown insists it's the price we have to pay for security at home. It is to make uh, Britain safe and the rest of the world safe that we must uh, make sure we honour our commitment to maintain and keep a stable Afghanistan. Seeking out the militants at the start of our special week on the future of Afghanistan, a report on the helicopter patrols beefing up security ahead of Thursday's elections. And the other top stories tonight. Safe in whose hands? Cameron faces more questions about Tory commitment to the NHS. Wedding tragedy. 41 women and children die after a tent catches fire at a ceremony in Kuwait. And free to return home, the American who triggered Aung San Suu Kyi's new imprisonment is on his way back to the States. And sports headlines, Jessica Ennis heads for a gold medal for Britain at the World Championships in Berlin tonight. It's a Spurs 1, Liverpool 0 at half-time in the Premier League. The champions start with a narrow win. Rooney gets the only goal as United edge out Birmingham at Old Trafford. And debut delight, England turn to Jonathan Trott for the Ashes decider on Thursday. This is Live at Five with Steve Dixon and Jeremy Thompson in Afghanistan. The top story live at five from Kabul. At the start of a week of special reports from Afghanistan as the people here prepare to take a crucial vote on their future. Tonight, a tragic milestone. The number of British dead has passed the 200.